na le me asha in philips miu with our education segment Mumala AC Secondary School located in Butler Sub County in Busia County is a powerhouse in various sporting activities in the country. I'm Mr. Onjoro Andrew, the principal of Mumala AC Secondary School. I joined this school in 2018 from Yahovi Secondary School and uh, we have made the school as an institution was started in uh, 2002 by community on self-help basis uh, it was begun by prominent people like George Wesonga. The school is located in the Bumala location Butler Sub County in Busia County in this country of Kenya. Progressed in uh, co-curricular activities uh, particularly our netball team last year we had uh, played at regional levels for two years. Uh, last year was our third year at regional levels and we qualified as a western best team in netball. Then we proceeded to nationals in Nakuru where we went as uh, runners-up uh, in the country, team number two in Kenya. We were beaten at nationals by Kobala Secondary School, a team from Nyanza. Then we proceeded to East Africa in Arusha. I'm um, Uluma Jackson, Games uh, Master Bumale C, in charge of uh, co-curricular activities. Uh, I'm also a coach, netball, coach for netball. We had various activities proceeding to the county, regionals and uh, national level. Uh, we had our soccer boys qualifying for county competition, handball girls, handball boys, and uh, we also had basketball girls, which we started last year. They trained well, and they competed so well up to the regional level. Uh, handball boys and girls, they competed up to the semi-finals at the county level. Netball girls played for the last three consecutive years, they have been playing up to the regional finals against uh, a team from Bungoma Bukoholo. But last year, we had prepared well against uh, the team that was very strong and we were able to outwin them. The school is in records after representing the country in the East African netball competition held in Arusha, Tanzania in the 2022 East Africa competitions. And uh, we played and uh, won matches we, 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 we played and uh, we were position seven among, position seven among nine teams that were presented and it was our first time to appear at nationals and also our first time to appear at uh, east africa activities we won all our matches up to the finals we played uh, against a team from Homa Bay called kobala and uh, we lost to kobala uh, 30 38 we proceeded to East Africa as Kenya number two to represent Kenya in East Africa in Arusha. Our girls did so well. Speaking to Masha TV, the school principal congratulated the netball team for making the school proud after the team was ranked position seven in the region. But uh, this year we have a very strong team and uh, we are sure now in, in netball there is no team in Kenya that can, uh, can defeat Bumala AC Second School this year because the team is well trained and well prepared and we are looking forward for the best performance ever in netball in Kenya this year and uh, we shall compete well even at East Africa Championship which will be held in August in Bujumbura, Burundi. We are hopeful that our team will perform very well. We are preparing them so well and our main target is to be as Kenya one. We are praying that we God helps us so that we will be able to win all the matches in Kenya and represent our country Kenya in Bujumbura which will be in, uh, from 15th August to 30th August. It will help us to develop more talents. I'm happy to announce that uh, some of our girls that played last year uh, who are form force did well in academics and have been earmarked to go for trials with the Kenya prisons from mid-February this year. 
and uh, we will talk to the coach of Kenya prisons, Madam Cherono, and uh, she has booked the four of them to go and have their trials, so that if they qualify, they will be picked to play for Kenya prisons. I will encourage our parents that you know that uh, apart from academics, a, a student or a child cannot do well in other activities. I encourage parents also to who have daughters and sons that can do well in co-curricular activities to allow their daughters and sons to allow daughters and sons to participate in those co-curricular activities because the four the four four fours who were picked last year they will represent the picked in the Kenya junior team and also at the same time they have been selected to go for trials for at Kenya prisons mid February this year one of our soccer boys who was identified at the county level was uh, he is going for trials they have been at the trials at Musingo High School they went for trials at uh, uh, Kasaran Stadium and the, he has been selected to join to go for trials at Poland that is Enoch he is currently in form 4 and we are praying that uh, his trials will bear fruits so that we will be able to encourage other students who are well talented and be able to earn a living from the co On the other hand, the school principal acknowledged the 2022 candidate class for excelling the KCSE exams, where 42 candidates managed to score C plus grade and above. We have had uh, serious progress in academic performance and uh, progressively we have taken many students to university every year. In 2018, we took 34 students. 2019, direct qualifiers to, to university were 35. In 2020, they were again 35. In 2021, the number increased to 42. And uh, in 2022, KCSE exams, we are taking 42 students direct entry to university again. And uh, our mean this year in 2022 was 4.86, which is an improvement from 5.4, from 4.56, which is a, an improvement in the mean. Uh, this year we have 253 students, uh, candidates, who will be sitting in KCSE, and we are hopeful they are going to. To, to improve our MINISCO and we are targeting a large number of students going to university. Uh, our target is uh, take at least 56 to university among the current students population. The school principal lauded the Bumala AC community for supporting school programs. So as a parting shot, I want to most sincerely thank our sponsors, the SK Church, Delsi of Nambale headed by our Bishop Magina and I also want to give special thanks to our current board chairman Mr. Ediga, Engineer Edigo Moto uh, for, this, um, for the support that he has given us and the cooperation that he has steered the board to focus on academic improvement of this school. I also want to thank uh, my colleague teachers who work tirelessly, sacrifice even during weekends and uh, late, uh, late in the evening, early in the morning, they are always here to support students in academic performance and also take care of the discipline. Our students are very disciplined. We are very grateful that they are very disciplined and uh, they know what to do. And with this kind of students, I'm sure we are headed to achieve more. He appreciated the Butler NGCDF office and Busia County government for supporting the school in provision of modern learning facilities. Uh, we have also made uh, progressive improvement in terms of infrastructure facilities uh, because we now have an ongoing tuition block which is sponsored by CDF through the effort of uh, Honorable MP Mr. Joseph Oyula and uh, it is almost complete, 80% complete. Uh, it's a tuition block of 12 classrooms, uh, 10 are complete, only one is to be constructed and completed. And I'm sure this year, through his goodwill, that project will be completed. 
We have also received a lot of support from the Ministry of Education uh, in terms of infrastructure development. We have two pin labs going on, which are almost complete, they are finishing level, and we have completed three classrooms and a sec education, secondary school education improvement program, SECIP, and we thank the Ministry of Education for that support. For Prime News Education segment, I'm Philip Simi.